How's it going, everybody? Jake. And Chris. Here for Dude Ranch DIY. We just got back from work, and we are in the wood yard. And we just took, what'd that take? About a half an hour, just probably, about. to rehook up the conveyor, get it in position, get the dump trailer, hook the donor splitter up to the conveyor to make it work. Got our, the rugged made log splitter in position, fueled everything up, and now we're ready to hopefully split some firewood. Hopefully we don't have any issues. Yeah, fingers crossed. We didn't have any issues last time. You guys probably saw, well, by now is a couple videos ago, but I actually just posted it today, <laughs> of Chris and I splitting up all that ash wood. Well, I was busy the past couple days and I cut up some of this here maple that we brought home from a job and we got a bunch more of it over here. So what's the plan? I think the plan is to just get some of this stuff out of the way. And uh, once I feel like we've advanced enough, I'll hop on the tractor, start loading up the table, cutting up and keeping the table fed on the uh, Rugged Maid. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good plan. You guys probably saw in the beginning, we swapped out the big tool rack for the big tool rack drawbar hitch, which makes it super easy to pick up and move around the dump trailer and that little splitter. And hopefully at some point soon, the conveyor as well, once we get a hitch mounted up to it. Um, but it's as simple as dropping the big tool rack down here with all the tools and saws and fuel and everything, throwing this bad boy on, which uh, it also helps if you remember where you put your hitch. Um, good spot to hold it is consequently the back of the big tool rack. Um, so it really does haul it all. Got the dump trailer in position. So let's make some firewood. So guys, as you can see here, the conveyor with two people really helps productivity. Um, you know, Chris is basically just standing there feeding me rounds and recycling back the pieces that need to be resplit. Um, we will step things up in a little bit, as he mentioned. Once uh, we knock that pile of cut up rounds down a little bit, he's gonna hop on the tractor and start cutting up rounds as well as feeding the rounds to me on the splitter. Um, but having that conveyor basically uh, helps just get all the wood away and into the dump trailer, as you can see. And even without major modification, um, it, it works pretty well. So I can only imagine how well it's going to work 
once we add on the hopper, all the new flaps or paddles on the chains, and uh, some other miscellaneous modifications that we think will aid in the production of the firewood. But as of right now, things are going good and we are going to speed stuff up. I said we would speed things up and we sure did. This camera angle gives a pretty good view 
of production mode, as I'd like to call it. Chris is busy on the tractor and the saw, and I am busy as ever on the splitter, just trying to keep up with him. Um, this system seems to work pretty well. Even Chris can even cut you know, bigger, larger rounds, and you see he'll stop, come over, feed the splitter, go back to cutting, and the conveyor just keeps chugging along, filling up the sure track dump trailer. I think we have hit our ultimate production mode. guys that's gonna be a wrap um, we just split we started at 4 o'clock it's now 610 so like two hours and ten minutes um, Wow this other iPhone <laughs> camera is way worse the good iPhone camera ran out of power while it was doing the uh, filming up there but let me show you what we got we got it's pretty full all the way to the back and we didn't really quite get over this way um but i mean that's it's a good amount of wood oh yeah i'd be interested to see how many totes come out of it yeah we'll have to make a video or uh keep track of how many totes um we get out of this one but uh all in all i mean that was by far the longest the conveyor has run yeah without a hiccup yeah no uh no chain off the rails no uh pieces getting stuck uh we didn't trip any of the, the valves on the donor splitter yeah um we we did find a piece that's kind of bent or broken that we're gonna have to replace when this gets shipped out yeah it's but. the it's the bottom that the so there's like sprockets up at the top here and then there's obviously sprockets down at the bottom and the shaft that the sprockets on the bottom are mounted to, we found, is a little bent. Yeah, just it's like out of whack. A little bit. It, I mean, it, it like works fine. Yeah, it works but. great. But I, I started hearing like metal on metal, and I was curious, so I was kind of sticking my head around while Jake was moving some cameras, and you could see very slight movements of the the gear. And he pointed out on the other side, there's big movements on the the shaft itself. Yeah. So, so at first we thought it was maybe just the pillow bearing, but mm -hmm. turns out it it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be more than that. Um, but that's all right. As you guys have been watching all of these conveyor videos, it hasn't gone under the knife yet, but the plan is, is that it's going to once our other friend Chris has time. Um, he should be picking up the steel for it this week, and then hopefully we can get it up to him and start working on it, um, you know, on the nights and weekends pretty soon after that but we have been taking into account all of your great feedback and thank you very much for all your feedback i've been sharing it with chris i think chris has actually been reading the comments himself um because we're really looking you know a lot of you guys out there have conveyors or already have these hay elevators or have more experience using them um so you know we, we really do appreciate all that feedback um so you know, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Um, we will keep you updated with what's going on with the conveyor and uh, hopefully we could just keep banging out a bunch of wood. We got a lot done today. This is this this was a good push. Yeah. It's a good push. I gotta say that new big tool rack hitch that you got is is money. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot better than picking up the, or yeah. trying to pick up the full trailer with the grapple or chains yep. or something. Yeah. Um, I will put a link for that guys down in the description. Um, Big tool rack, just draw bar. It's, it, it was really affordable. Um, I was surprised at, I think it was like 150 bucks. And I know you can buy ones that are cheaper on Amazon and it's like a triangle frame thing. This is all solid. There's no nothing to like bend. Um, everything from big tool rack is, is really well built and well thought out. And this is just another one. It's quick hitch compatible, super easy. Throw it in the back of the big tool rack come down, drop the big tool rack, hook that thing up, move the trailer around, whatever. So anyway, 
That's going to be it for this one. As always, thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Haven't done so already. Click that subscribe button down below. We've been killing it with the subscribers and views, guys. So share it with your friends. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Questions, comments, feedback down in the comments section. But for now, I'm Jake. And I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you here next time.